Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a homebrew review. This is courtesy of Will, this is his Hellas. So let's check this one out. Um, very ambitious, homebrew trying to do Hellas, yeah. One of the like technical styles that a lot of brewers would very much appreciate. Let's see how one pours out. Very good looking beer. Uh, beautiful head creation on that. Um, beer definitely in the range of like what, like craft lager slash like Keller beer or something. Like it doesn't have that beautiful clarity. Then again, like, I mean, it's homebrew. You don't have centrifuges. You don't have like, you know, um, you know, micro screen filters and all that good stuff. Um, it's just gonna get be, you know, somewhat hazy, right? A little bit of chill haze on that. It has like a medium light ha or light haze to it. Um, head is pretty, you know, extra white and persistent. Let's get that. Hmm, what is that? Nice kind of pills malt character to it. Definitely lager. I get a nice kind of like, like, like bready thing going on too. Like cracked, oh, that's what it is, uh, cracked grains. Like, just like, I mean, I don't know if it's, you know, well, can tell me, uh, or he might have sent me a message. I, I didn't get a, a chance to look at it before this review, but that's one thing that's pretty fun. Sometimes you look into the uh, descriptor to find out more of what the homebrew says. I'm just going to review it, like, you know, as it is. So, um, quite possible this is like Weirman Pilsner because it's just a very distinctive note. Cheers. Mm -hmm. A lot of that kind of like crack rain thing going on. I'd argue maybe. The hair too much. Like, it's a little, like, you know, sometimes they're tasty when it's like barley tea or like something, but, ah, there's just like too much doughiness. Like, if you've ever uh, been to a brewery and you've like had pale, um, ever like uh, tried, just like go to a homebrew shop or go to a brewery, just like get some like, you know, pale malt, two row pills or whatever, and just crack into it. And that kind of like dusty uh, starch inside, um, that's what it tastes like. And, I don't know if it's a bad thing, but it's like a little bit distracting, I think. I don't know. Maybe, you know what it is? It's just something I'm not too familiar with. Not very, uh, very many Pilsners have that specific flavor. Because it is just that very grainy, doughy, starchy thing. A little bit of like floral hop character on the back end. So talking about Hellas, um, you're really relying on the malt. And for me, I find that this beer is not fat enough in its malt character. Um, this is not a Pilsner, obviously, so um, there's a little bit of hop character, but really what you're relying on is just a lot of like dense, and it's so, it's so weird to explain it. Like it's a, it's a pale, it's the most, you know, like pale, light German lager you can make, but it, it, it needs that kind of just like, 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 like roundness. Like you want the malt to sort of like zip, you know, just like fill up the palate a little bit. Here it just comes off a little too hoppy because the hops sort of come in a little too early. And so I think this would be easily confused with like Kolsch or like a very lightly hopped Pilsner or even like Itali uh, Italiano Pils, you know, Italian Pils up breweries are trying to do that. And it's not quite hoppy like that. So it's like somewhere sitting in the middle. And I like the uh, water that comes in the back end quite nice. I suspect it's like softer water here. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. Very easy drinker, very delicious. But in my critique, if you want to like get really into it, you know, get really like bold and, and show off your, uh, uh, your Munich style Hellas, you want to get that fat uh, malt character. Um, how do we do that? Uh, some people would argue you'd have to decoction. Some people would do uh, multi-step uh, mashing on that one. You know, maybe throw in a little bit of like Vienna in there possibly. Um, you know, carapils, whatever, uh, some other malts than, other than straight 100% pills or malt, though I'm not sure if this is 100% pills or malt. Um, choose a different yeast strain. I don't know. <laughs> hey, these are the secrets, right? You know, how do you make amazing Munichels? I, you know, I think every brewer would love to know. Um, but my critique, get a little fatter. It's honestly, this one drinks anywhere in between Kolsch, American lager too. This honestly could pass for American, like a craft version of American lager. Yeah. 
because the beer is just so pale and so light that it comes off like a craft version of American lager. I would argue that versus calling this a Hellas because Hellas just has like this just like Germanness to it and this sort of lacks that. So and the boldness of the malt too. Hope that's some feedback. It is still a delicious beer. And you call this, actually, you just put on label Craft American Lager. Big points on that one. But as for what it tastes like right now, it's very tasty. Eighty-four? Eighty-five? Eighty-five. I mean, it's very tasty beer. Like if someone if some brewery packaged this, they would do a very good job. But again, it's so important how you message the drinker. For me, I think it's a very delicious beer, whatever it is, what it is. But if you give it to somebody and call it like, you know, this is a German style Munich Hellas, they're not gonna, you know, uh, give it that much credit. But if you call it, this is my craft version of like American lager. Oh, wow, this is way tastier than Coors and Bud. Like, you know, like expectations matter. So, um, you know, thinking about, <laughs> you know, that's, that's it's the thing that like brewers really think of. They have intention when they brew a beer, but when you get results, you have to think about how you sell that beer. And the expectations are lower when you do like, you know, obviously an American lager, a craft version of American lager. So uh, that's my input. Until next time, guys, cheers. Thank you so much, Will. This beer from me gets an 85 later.